like nowadays with so many makeup companies coming out with so many makeup palettes, I use the word boring a lot as well as you guys because in my comments, all the time when we talk about palettes, we're like, oh, this is boring, oh, this is boring. There's just a lot of saturation with makeup palettes. But the truth is, while a palette may be boring, I am also really boring and I love boring makeup looks and boring palettes. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite boring eyeshadow palettes. So if you wanna see the boring eyeshadow palettes that I absolutely love for all of my fellow boring gals, just keep watching. A huge thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you've never heard of Ana Luisa, they are my favorite place to get high quality jewelry at an affordable price. I am always wearing their pieces. I've been a fan of their brand for two almost three years now and I have to say I've had nothing break and nothing rust from the brand so I personally stand by the quality. They're also a carbon neutral brand from the packaging to the product themselves and they're my favorite place to get really dainty elegant jewelry as well as hoop earrings. I got a couple this time around. So with Black Friday and the holidays now is the time to purchase gifts for people. I think jewelry is a great way to go so if you're interested in shopping at Ana Luisa I do have a code where you can get 20% off for the current promo that's going on. Let's go over the pieces that I'm currently wearing because these ones are so cute. So the first one and all of the jewelry pieces are gonna come in an adorable little pouch, which is perfect for travel. So the necklace that I'm wearing is named the Alexandria and it's a two piece necklace. So you get a little chain necklace and then you get a flat, I think it's called herringbone necklace. Really dainty, but still impactful. It looks looks really expensive on the neck and I love buying sets of necklaces because you know they're gonna look good together it's like two for one as well as they're gonna match and then the earrings I got I got a few so let's start off with the ones that I'm wearing right now these are the low medium hoops just a really simple clean gold hoop you can never go wrong with a gold hoop they're never gonna go out of style this is the perfect size where it's not super tight to my ear but it also isn't too large really perfect for every day and and it's very lightweight. That's the most important part to me. And it's really easy to open and close. You just pull it apart. And then the other hoop earrings that I picked up were the Casey's. Now the Casey ones are tighter to the earlobe, which I really like for a different look, but you do have this detailing right here. And it, again, it is that snap closure that's really easy to throw on and off. And then the last pair of earrings that I got really dainty, this is the Emilia. And it just has three little stars stars or twinkles, whatever you want it to be, going down the ear. So it's not just a typical stud, it is a little bit more detailed. But those are the pieces that I am currently loving and definitely recommend. They also do offer speedy delivery all over the world. The prices of the pieces range from $39 to higher end pieces as well. And I mean, you guys already know the deal with Anna Luisa. I'm always wearing their jewelry. I highly recommend them. So if you want to shop their current sale, I'm going to have the link down below. Low. Just make sure you guys use my code at checkout. And thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Let's get into the nitty gritty. So most boring palettes, right? Well, these palettes are boring. Hopefully this video is not. This is almost like a part two because about seven months ago, I did a video called my top 10 favorite neutral palettes of 2022. And a lot of those I would have put in today's video, but I didn't want to be too repetitive, but I, I did bring back three that you need to be reminded of that are blissfully boring. So amazing. So the first one I've talked about recently, so I'm going to skip through this one pretty fast, but you know how I feel. If you're going to get a good, boring, basic neutral palette, the Natasha Denona Biba is my favorite. It is top, top notch luxury quality. It has warm tones, neutral tones, cool tones in here. It's all you need in the neutral family. And when this came out, we were all like, Oh my god, this is so boring. And then we all ended up loving it because it has all of the boring colors that we need and they are so high quality. It's a great 
basic palette. If you don't like wearing a lot of color, this is perfect. Definitely recommend this one. Another one, which wasn't boring when it launched, but now I know you walk past it when you see it on an ABH display, but don't sleep on the ABH Soft Glam. This one I used in my bridal kit as well. It's very, very neutral, but it's super high quality and the colors are surprisingly very, well, not even surprisingly, but they're very flattering on the eyelid. They blend out really easy. The shimmers give you that oomph that makes them a little bit more special. You have a great range in depth from very light to very deep, AKA black, and you just can't go wrong with this palette. It's the one that you walk past in the store, but once you have it in your hands, you kind of keep grabbing for it, and it's just perfect for all occasions. And then the last one that was in that video Video that deserves a mention in this video is one of the more boring palettes in this video. Nobody talks about it and I never understood why because I always love this palette. This is the Melt Cosmetics Brunette Palette and I mean look at this. How underwhelming but it is so good. The mattes in particular blend like butter, require zero effort to blend and you just get the perfect everyday brown makeup look and the shimmers in here are okay. It's the mattes that I find myself consistent consistently reaching for when it comes to this palette. And every time I wear it, I'm like, oh my God, matte eyeshadows are so pretty. I don't even need a shimmer. So yeah, if you want really great matte browns, the brunette palette from Melt Cosmetics, don't sleep on it like everybody else is. All right, so these ones were not in the video. I'm, I'm going to start off with the palette that I am wearing. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a Palette. Now she has different shades. The one that I pulled out for today is the Stoned Rose Beauty. She didn't launch one this year, which I'm really sad about because she usually launches these every year. They were all starting to look the same, but I really liked these. So these are like an all-in-one palette. Not only do they just contain eyeshadows, but they contain blush, bronzer, and highlight as well. So for today's look, I started off with this eyeshadow shade right here in the outer corner, and I blended it. It's the only matte shade on my eyes right now. And then I went in with this shade right here, and I have it in the center of the eyelid. And then I finally went in with this shade. This is in the inner corner very beautifully boring. Use the bronzer on the outer three of my face. This isn't too deep, so this isn't the most versatile skin tone wise. Do keep that in mind when it comes to these products. And then I started off with this blush on the apple, and then I blended it out just a little bit more with this shade right here. And then as you can probably guess, I did go into this shade right here and use it as a highlight. It's just a really easy palette where you don't have to think about what colors to use. You don't don't need to dig into your blush or bronzer or highlight drawer. You have it all in here. It's going to give you a cohesive look. It's very high quality, but it took me a while to get into these palettes because I was never attracted to them because they were so boring looking. Why would I want to spend so much money on a palette that looks like this? And I'm not going to lie. The ones she launches, they all kind of, they, they look the same. Can't even lie about it. But when I purchased one, I now purchase all of them that come out because they create such a really beautiful, simple look don't need to think about it. It looks super nice and it's really pretty and high quality. So yeah, these are underrated. If you passed up on them like I did, rethink it if you're a boring girl you know, like me. Okay, so I haven't talked about these that much. I know that I have, but these to me are so boring, but they are so good and it's going to surprise you. They are the Maven Beauty Eyeshadow Quads. Okay, look at these. So the names are really cool and simple. Well, not cool, but they're really simple. Like this right here with these four matte really light shades is Basic Beat Soft Blend. So these are soft blend blender colors. And then you have this one right here, which is a little bit darker. They call this the bold blend. We have the medium blend. This one is define. All of these are the definer shades. And then we also have an all shimmer palette called the spotlight, which is the spotlight for the eyes. I just think it's really intuitive, phenomenal for makeup artists. I love the packaging, super slim and sleek. You can see all of the pans. And I really like the way that they laid them out by purpose as opposed to a whole look, which I guess most people probably wouldn't like, but 
but these are surprisingly very very good i did not expect the quality to be so good and i really enjoy reaching for these obviously i don't get to a ton because the size of my collection but these are super duper boring i never ever would have thought that i would enjoy these so much but they are really good and very high quality so don't sleep on them don't sleep on anything in this video okay i have a lot of smaller palettes and i'm kind of counting these as the same these are from a kaleidos collection i don't have the names of them i know one of them is cold brew but they don't have the name on the palettes but these are just little quads then you open them and you can tell that they're special by the shimmer shade when kaleidos came out with this kaleidos always had really fun innovative colors so when they came out with this this was very boring for them we all probably already have colors like these but no these are so special obviously as you can imagine it has a lot to do with the shimmer shade in these palettes but the mattes are like creamy buttery delicious dreams like oh my gosh they blend so nice the looks are so pretty they are amped up but yes when we first got this i was like this is a pretty boring color story for kaleidos but they're super high quality and that's where brands can get away with these boring palettes it's when the quality is so good that it doesn't even matter okay the last of the smaller palettes here dang i'm working through them so fast are these guys from m cosmetics this is from one of their more recent collections that came out but these are the divine skies formula and they had the artist the masterpiece collection that's what it was called and i love these eyeshadow palettes i think they are stunning i'm trying to open them so that you can see and it's hard for me to choose which one I like better because they're both so boring and similar but they're both so good we have Rodin and Da Vinci right here I know I think I pronounced Rodin wrong but anyways these are just really basic good palettes you have all of the colors that you need super high quality you will love the neutral look that you get with these I don't know how I lived without these in my life before these came because this is such a good staple formula they have really heavy duty packaging that makes them very nice for travel like I don't think they're gonna break and you have options to get more smoky eyes darker lid colors lighter lid colors you can do all matte you can have a lot of shimmer coming through for being little six panners I feel like there's some versatility in here with these they are boring color stories but I have the most fun with them when I use them so the next one is a bigger palette we're on to the two larger palettes in today's video this is from Sydney Grace and this is the Be Mine palette and I'm not gonna lie when I got this I really wasn't even that motivated to use it because I was like oh I have all of those colors but boy I should have known better because you guys know Sydney Grace has just like the most amazing quality like period so uh, this be mine palette is surprisingly very well curated and super duper high quality so you have more brown tones here plummy tones and then these really deep smoke shades down here at the bottom and quality is not even in question here you know Sydney Grace has top of the line well, I did have all of these colors this smoky row right here didn't really appeal to me I don't normally go for these kinds of colors so at first I wasn't that interested in this palette and then I started using it and then I realized it's a good time with this palette it gives you looks that you're most likely going to be very comfortable with but they aren't quite like super boring so it's more fun than you think it is okay don't judge a book by its cover you're gonna enjoy this one well I'm gonna assume so you get good levels of depth with this one good variety yeah surprisingly good and I was bored by it at first not excited about the launch but it was really good <laughs> this next one is one that I stand by that nobody else does they literally have been trying to get rid of the stock that they have of this it's like 80% off <laughs> but this boring palette I love and I need to give the Patrick Star one size visionary eyeshadow palette a shout out because this was the first launch ever for one size and I thought they did a really great job with this palette I've always been really into it very basic colors but I love warm tones neutral tones smoky tones even pops of color that's fun green tones there's a lot more versatility to this than meets the eye are these shades you already have in your collection yeah probably nothing special but I just think it's a really well done palette the quality is really nice the shimmers give you that oomph you have a lot of range in terms of the transition shades to kind of change up the moods of the look I don't know why they had problems selling this I don't know how it's not a staple in people's collection because it is a downright beautifully curated boring palette 
I think it's a great starter palette. Anyways, those are my most boring palettes that I really, really love that I wanted to bring your attention to because there's nothing wrong with boring, okay? And you know what? I get lost in that trap sometimes too. I'll look at a palette, I'll look at a collection, and I'll be like, oh, this is boring. It's only boring if it doesn't. Wait, I have two more palettes that I forgot about. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I'm so dummy dumb dumb. I thought I went by fast. Okay, I have two more small palettes. <laughs> Sorry to trick you there. So I have this quad from NARS. This is the Orgasm X quad. How sick of pinky palettes are we? Okay, but this one is so good. I've always really loved this one. I've always loved the looks that I've gotten with this one. I think this might be one that we might pass by in the store because, you know, we have our Charlotte Tilbury stuff. We have our Pat McGrath who love rosy tones that we don't even think about this little quad. I love this. I think it looks so dimensional on the eyelid. So it's one of those palettes where it's more than what meets the eye and it just creates a really pretty dimensional rose palette. So don't forget about this. I say don't forget about this, but I literally forgot about that. Last one, I had to give a shout out to Charlotte Tilbury again, because yes, this guy's boring, but her quads are also kind of boring. But this one in Desert Haze has the best mattes, okay? I don't even really wear warm tones that often, though I'm kind of lying. I've been doing a lot of warm tone looks lately, but I've never been super attracted to warm tones, right? But this warm toned quad is the highest quality of mattes that I've come across. That's kind of an exaggeration. I've come across a lot of high quality mattes, but this is luxe quality mattes right here. And it's kind of, I don't know, whenever I just need a good quality, reliable, blendable, matte shade palette, simple. I love this one. Nobody talks about it, but it's so this time I'm scanning, we're done, we got all of the palettes. Those are the best boring palettes in my collection. I'm sorry for calling you guys boring, but you, you are, but you're great. And don't be ashamed to say you like a boring palette because I am boring too, and I know there are a lot of other boring people who love boring palettes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you can think of any super boring palettes that you love, be sure to comment them down below. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.